several new songs that we're doing for you today. I look back through all the four or five years, and uh, we thought we'd do some new stuff for you so that you don't get bored with us. Um, you know, you don't want the pastor sitting preaching the same thing every Sunday, right? So we don't want to, when you go to leave, say, well, those are the same ones you did last time. So we're not comfortable as, with these songs as we are some of the others, because they are neat. And it's tied up here. <laughs> it's tight. So with the sound system and some of the mics, it's uh, it's stout. But um, through some of these songs, we've, we've prayed over them, and we're going to do a few in just a few moments. One of the songs that was written for us, and I'll tell you a little more about that one in just a little bit, but... This next song, um, it's new to us, but it's called You Can't Shake Jesus. You know, a lot of times when when the Lord is after us and He's wanting you to teach Sunday school or He's wanting you to come into the ministry or He's wanting you to speak to that person next to you at work, there's times that we think if we just walk away, He'll go away. That's not the case. When Jesus needs you, He's wanting you to do something. He's got a blessing for you. He's got a design for you. It does no good to run. If you run, you will be miserable. The best thing to do is say, yes, Lord, and do what He asks you to do. This next song talks about that. You can't shake Jesus. You know, no matter what we do, we can't shake Him. If we're in His hand, we're there. Now, we can walk away, we can turn our head, but we can't shake Him because He's always there. It's just a call away.
This next song we're going to do talks about the great I am. And I heard this is Crowder. Um, if you guys are familiar with the words. And he um, said that when he wrote the song, he was thinking about, in the Bible, we, you know, God is called I am. Uh, you know, Moses said, who do, who do I say is calling? He said, I am. So, But if you think about it, the great I am is holding on to me. And I am holding on to the great I am. It's uh, amazing that he's available there for us anytime we call. So we focus on the Father, and He does the rest. I am. I love that song. I am. He's the one that we cling to. In the sickness in our life, in the trouble in our life, 
He's the one that has the answers. We don't need to be worried about what the governor says or what the president says or what the next doctor says. We need to worry about what God says. And the rest will fall in place. And I know that's not popular. But that's okay. I'm not a popular person. Never have been. But this morning, um, these next few songs are, are newer, but this next one I, I love. I love. I, when, when I heard it on the radio, I loved it. When we started doing, I loved it. I still love it as much as we've worked it the last month. But it's called Holy Water. You know, there's times in our life we just need to touch of holy water. There's times in our life, folks, we just need to say, okay, Lord, here it is. You know, as Baptists, I grew up Baptist. It's hard to raise your hand, isn't it? It's just hard. Everybody do it. Everybody raise your hand right now. There you go. See, that doesn't hurt, does it? Actually, it makes you feel better. See, the blood flow gets up here and starts trickling down. Washes away all the bad stuff. Sounds good anyway, doesn't it? Are you smiling this morning? This is hard for me. Wait, I, I tell you, I, I feel for the pastors out there and the pastors that will be watching this feed later on. But I feel for you. I pray for you. Because you can't see who's smiling who's not. So I'm, I'm looking at Wade. He's smiling. So the, I guess the rest of you, it's okay. I can see your eyes move once in a while. And that's okay. We ought to be happy in, in, in God's house, right? Because here we're saved from all. We're saved. He's got us in His hands this morning. So just let God do what He needs to do in your life today. Listen to this next song. It's called Holy Water.
are we so blessed to have his forgiveness? Um, and it says, I don't want to abuse your grace. God, I need it every day. We need God's grace every day. It's the only thing that ever really makes me go forward. It's the only, really, only thing that ever really makes me want to change, to move forward, to do anything. And how we do that, how we know about his grace, how we communicate with him is through prayer. That's our line. That's our phone line. Um, I saw a sign again. It, it's kind of old, but I love it. Um, God answers an email, right? His inbox is never full. Um, there is power in prayer. Seen God work? Say amen. 
You know, it amazes me. Sometimes I, I pray, Wade, and I walk away and I've got a doubt in my mind. It's like, well, the Lord's not going to do that. I'm just being selfish. And then there's times that I sit back and when I pray, I watch Him and I watch Him move. And it gives me those goosebumps and I wonder, wow, I just saw God do something. You know, if we had the attitude when we walked away that God's going to do something, you know how much better we'd be off? How much better we would be in our life and our daily walk? When you pray, don't, don't doubt it. If you're doubting it, there's no use in praying in my opinion. When you go to the Lord, go with confidence. He says He'll listen. And He hears and He cares. You know, I, I've sat sometimes and I've watched and I've had things in my life and I'll tell you right now, I'm struggling. Uh, yesterday, I stepped out of my truck. And uh, when I stepped out of my truck, it was like somebody ran a knife across my back. And I prayed all day yesterday. I said, Lord, don't let this be a hindrance in the morning. Don't let it be a hindrance in our service. You know, when I got up this morning, very little pain. Very, very minute. I know it's there and I know it's there right now. But it's okay. And maybe that's why I'm saying it. Because I'm feeling it after standing here for about three hours this morning getting ready. But you know, my God is so good. Now He may call, He may let it hurt after I leave this mountain. But He's been just this morning. And He took it away. Last night I sat on the couch and I sort of felt that pain moving. And I thought, Lord, it's just so good. Why can't people do this? Why can't they see this? Why don't they come to you instead of trying to handle it on their own? So many times in our life, we take our troubles and our strifes and our problems and our burdens, we try to handle them. He says, don't worry about it. Just bring it to me. I'll take care of it. You've got a direct line to the throne room. There's no one to go through. You and your maker. I suggest you use that line. You should be praying every day, not just over your meal, but you ought to be praying every day. Praying continually through the day. This next song we're going to do is called Stand Still. There's many times in our lives, especially in the last few months and last year, we just had to stand still. Sometimes we don't get those answers like we talk to. You know, we got a direct line, but that doesn't mean God's going to give you an answer every single time right then. Sometimes He just wants us to stand still. He needs to know that we're number one in His life. And He needs us to see what He needs to do. So He asks us to be patient. Just wait. Stand still and know I am God. This morning, if, you don't, if you've been praying and you don't have an answer, maybe the Lord's just telling you, stand still. Not yet. Just wait. Just a little while. Stand still and listen to what I need to do.
this next song we're going to do. <coughs> i got to come down a minute. Uh, this next song we're going to do is, we prayed, been praying for the last two or three years. That God, as we got ready to do a new CD, which we have, it's on the table, because of social distancing, because of everything going on, the CDs are back there. If you want one, they're $10. You can lay your money on the table. It'll be fine. If you don't have money and you want one, take what you want. They're all God's anyway. Uh, he, he's paid for them. He gives churches like you to take the offerings. Help us get that word out. But the new CD is the very one on the top. If you're going to get one, that's the one to get. Trust me. If you're in a car today outside and you want a CD, when one of us step out, blow your horn and we'll bring you one. So don't worry. we You will not be forgotten. You want a CD, you call us. We'll, we'll come get you. We'll, we'll get it to you. But we prayed several months. Matter of fact, and I sent an email and I was looking and I've got forums I go to to look for songs. And A guy emailed me. He said, I've got a song that maybe you'd be interested in. And I began to listen to the song and listen to the words. And the more I listened to it, the more it worked on me. The more it worked on all of us. The song is, what if He's blessing me again? You know, wait, sometimes I look at my life and I look at the little troubles and the trials that we go through and I look at them sometimes as punishment. And as a pastor, I've sat sometimes and on the other side of the table, I've listened to people pour out everything in their life and ask, why am I going through what I'm going through? I give my tithe. I teach Sunday school. Why is the Lord doing this? Folks, the Lord's not doing it. Yeah, He may allow it to happen. But as this song says, He allows some things to happen in our life for a purpose and a reason. And as I thought about this song when we first heard it, I went back in my life and I've given my testimony here many times. I've been diagnosed with heart disease. And I, I wondered then, I asked the question, wait, why, Lord? Why would what all I do? But I can tell you many years past that diagnosis, the Lord has given me a platform that some of you don't have. I can stand in a gap that you can't stand in and say, I know where you're at. I know what you're going through. I know your struggles. I deal with it. And I watch the Lord daily. When He does that and He puts those people in my place, I'm the one that gets blessed. Because you know what? I can share what my Father does for me. The strength that He gives me the lack of concern for the disease, the lack of concern for whatever, because I know He's in control of everything that goes on. Many way to ask, are you worried about this virus? No. I'm not worried about it. Because if Wade calls you on a phone tree and says, Scotty passed away, don't worry. I know where I'm at. And I know what He's done. If you're in a trial today, don't go ask the Lord, why am I here? Ask Him, what do you want me to see? What do you want me to get out of this, Lord? Where do you want me to go? Who do you want me to talk to? Who do you want me to touch? Where do you want me to be? And He'll show you. See, your trial today may simply be your blessing tomorrow or someone else's blessing today. Listen as Angela sings this song. What if he's blessing me again? See 
that causes doubt Something else to pray about One more thing that brings me to my knees That's where he reminds me of His perfect grace and sustaining love He takes me to the place where I Churches that call us each year and put us on a list, we take it very seriously. And I want you to know that God loves you. If you're sitting here today and you're feeling distant from the Lord, it's, it's not Him. You've simply just walked away. Maybe there's something in your life you just need to say, "Here it is, Lord. Here it is. I don't, I don't need this." Maybe there's something that's standing in between you and the Lord today. But as we pray, we pray that our music not entertain, but our music leads you to worship. And this morning, as we conclude our service and our part, I want you to stand. I, I'm not going to ask you to come with everything going on, but I know you've been sitting for a while. And I'm just going to ask you if you will stand and, and bow your heads for just a moment. Wait, wait, we'll be looking around. And he can come here in a moment. But I, I just want to ask a question. There's no one's looking around. So we know how to pray as a group, and Pastor Wade knows how to pray as, as your pastor. If, if someone has a need this morning, would you just raise your hand, whatever it may be? Do you have a need? There's hands all over the house. You know, truthfully, all of us probably have a need, whether we admit it or not. And Wade's seeing those hands, and I know he's going to be praying for you. Now, Wade's in the back corner. But I know if you need to talk to him this morning, he's more than willing to talk to you. He'll sit down with you now. He'll sit down with you afterward. But as John sings this last song, I want you to just take a time maybe for a little soul searching. This next song is called On My Cross. <coughs> Folks, this morning Jesus bore everything for you. He loved you enough that He gave everything He had so that you could have eternal life. That's love. Not like a lot of you. I don't know that I love you that much. But God did. He sent His Son, Jesus, to die for you. And He hung on a cross and He bore every sin of this world. 
He bore every sin of mine so that I could accept Him. And this morning, if you've never accepted Him, you've never called on Him, you will never know the joy until you do. It's simple. All you got to do is say, Lord, come into my heart. Repent of your sins and ask Him to be your Savior. If you're standing here this morning you've never done that, I encourage you to do that before you leave. Before you go home. It doesn't matter what age you are. We have no promise of tomorrow. In the time we live, that could be any time. You know, a lot of people have said it for years, and I believe now wait is more than any. There's nothing else that really has to be done except for the sky to split open and come back. Jesus is waiting. Where are you? What are you allowing to come into your life? What are you allowing in your life that stands between you and the Lord this morning? Whatever it is, I want you to just take a moment. I want you to search yourself because you have a God that loves you. A Savior that gave His life for you. And He just wants you. That's all. He wants you to accept Him. This morning, if there's anything that's standing in the way of you doing what Christ wants you to do, would you just hand it over? Just give it to Him. Listen to this song. After we finish with this, wait, it's, it's yours. And we'll step back out of respect for you guys. We'll go up on top. But listen, this morning, most of all, make sure that your heart is right before you leave here. If you're in the car, before you crank and drive away, you make sure that your life is right. If you're listening on Facebook and you're looking at me, you make sure your life is right before you end this feed. Because you may not have another minute. God bless you. As John says.
Faith River. I always love it when you guys come. Thank you all for coming. I think, uh, where's Lanny go? Uh, right. I think uh, Jim has got an offering plate. If you'd like to bless the group, as Scotty said, you know, they're a ministry. And we love to support missions and ministry. So if you'll drop something in the plate, as Scotty said, the CDs are back here. So, uh, Jim, I guess if you'll be, will you be out on the steps, or right back here. So, uh, if you need to see Jim, please do that so that we can support this ministry. God bless everybody for coming, and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye everyone on Facebook. Thank you for joining us. If you're still there, I'll let you see everybody. Everybody home watching, say hey Janet. Hey. <laughs> If you want to send in money, go ahead. <laughs> Bye, everybody.